Good morning, Modern Mustard Seeds. It's me, Ebony. It is Sunday. It's the last Sunday. Not, yeah, I think it's the last Sunday of August. Goodness, my days are going wonky. And I'm starting to prep for putting things away for the winter, for next season. I've got a few things in the ground right now. I'm still battling Harlequin bat bugs. Um, yeah, they are totally the bane of my existence. There seem to be a bunch of aphids out there now. Everything has gone wonky out there this year. 2020, I'm just saying, she's not been very friendly. Here's what I'm doing. I am not a great organizer. This is how I keep some of my seeds. And then I have another container that's supposed to close like a metal bin um, that you would use for cards, little um, postcards, or not postcards, but for those little white cards you write on. And it's just not the most efficient way to do it. So I want to show you what I found. I was Googling and I was looking and I saw somebody who had um, a really pretty colorful case. And I was like, wow. And what they did with their pretty colorful case is they took um, each one of these little cases. And this does come in white, by the way. I'll just tell you that up front. They took each one of these little cases and they stored seeds in them. And I was like, well, dang. That makes total sense, right? Because you can put the seeds in, it closes up, and then the whole case closes up and can be stored away. You can leave, if you get those silica packets, you might stick a silica packet in here to make sure they stay dry. Um, I might actually do a little bit of mint in here. We tend to get, unfortunately, we tend to get mice in the basement in the winter time, and at least early fall, and it's always a battle for like three weeks, and then we, we get past it, but I don't want them to be attracted to the seeds, which is why I always have to find a place to store the seeds, um, because mice will eat your seeds if you, if you get them in the house. Also, keeping them dry keeps them from, from rotting, essentially, right? So I just thought this was really cool. And so then I started doing some searching, like, where can I get this? And you know, my go-to is Amazon. Um, guess what? Amazon has these. And I was like, I'm not paying that much for a box of plastic boxes. I'm just not going to do it. They were like $30 and $40. I was like, who, who does that and why? And then I happened to google it like once i figured out what the name was i googled it and i found it at michael's yes there's one up on joppa road in baltimore michael's i'm sorry not michael yeah michael's i didn't go to joppa road i went to the one in towson sorry the one in towson and they had them and were they 30 dollars? no were they 45 dollars? no they were 14.99 and they come in all white and they come in this beautiful <laughs> happy happy color um, I like the happy, happy color, obviously. So what I'm going to do today, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to tape all of this, but, um, but I want you to just know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little bit of tape. I'm going to close up my seed packets so that I'm not spilling out seeds. And then I'm going to group them according to what I need them to be grouped by. So these are all flowers. This is zinnia and straw flower, things that the zinnias came up. And there's dill. So I'll have one for herbs, maybe. Um, eggplants. I have, I think, two eggplants. And if, it, if they don't take all of it, it's fine. You know why? Because these are actually meant for storing photos. And so what I don't use this year, I'm going to actually put photos in and leave them around the, the living room um, so people can easily access the pictures and be able to put them back and they'll look nice and, and be kept um, for photos that aren't hung up. But, I mean, how nice is that to be able to put the two cherries into two cherry tomatoes, yeah, super bush and black cherry tomatoes in there. How nice is that? I have more seeds. Like, I didn't plant all of this. I just want you to know I did not plant all of this. Um, wild bergamot bee balm, uh, bee balm lemon. I, I didn't plant all of this. Malabar spinach. I probably have three or four of these. More Malabar spinach, like I said, three or four of those. Um, so I, I didn't plant everything that was in here this year. But this is a great way for storage. So if you're looking for a way to start putting your seeds away and keeping them organized for the winter, this is a great way to do it. I also have a nice handy dandy pen so I can mark on the outside of the container um, what's in there. So if it's brassicas, if it's onions, if it's tomatoes, if it's herbs, I can put that on there and easily grab it and say, oh, okay, this is the flower section or the zinnia because i got a bunch of zinnias. Um, 
and be very specific about what's in which case. And I don't have to use all of these cases, but for $14.99, this is a great deal. A colorful, happy deal. Also, do your kids have little small things that need to be stored? Because that would work for this, right? So I could see this being a pencil, maybe not pencil, but pen and a, a marker case to stash into a desk or a drawer while they're homeschooling. Okay, guys, have a great day. It's Sunday. Enjoy it. Um, go out and be faithful. Check your garden. See what's out there. If you can start planning things for the winter and for the fall, go for it. Try it. See what happens. Let us know how it's going. It rained really well yesterday. Keep that good watering up. Check underneath the leaves to make sure you don't have egg sacs from various insects. And then get rid of them. You can either squish them all. You can um, carefully use some tape wrapped around your hand to try and pull off eggs onto the tape. You can spray them with insecticidal soap, which is what I do. Um, but I also use the tape. You know, make sure that you don't have overwintering eggs and bugs if you can help it. There will be some, but you can get rid of what you can get rid of. Post your pictures. Share with us. Let us know what's going on. We want to see it. Modern Mustard Seeds. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, be sure to do that. If you are on Facebook with us, yay. Share the wealth. And let's get ready for next spring, too. Start thinking that out. Think about it now. Think about going out to your garden and experiencing the happiness of pulling up some spinach and eating it, sauteing it with some onions you maybe grew, or some okra, or making tomato salsa with your tomatoes and your onions and your peppers, or even taking your hot peppers and drying them or smoking them and roasting them. What can you do? What can you try? Can you pickle something this year? Beets are going to be coming back in. If you haven't planted some beets, get them in the ground. Put your carrots in the ground. Um, they'll be growing into quite a long time so uh, I mean you can put a lot of beets and a lot of carrots out I do them in weekly increments so that you'll have some ready one week some ready the next week etc etc but you can pickle beets pickled beets are delicious they're also high in sugar I used to take a quarter sorry not a quarter an eighth because they're very sugary an eighth of a beet you take a beet and cut it into eighths and then I would um, add it to a smoothie and let me tell you, when I had energy, I had energy, energy, energy. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. So do that. Try that. I'll talk to you guys later. Post some reviews. Let us know what's going on. Send your pictures on Facebook. Let us know. But believe me when I tell you, everybody wants to see what you're doing. We all want to experience it. Okay? Take care.